today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the Goblin Machine and the Goblin Demolisher. These cards are crazy, guys. I don't even know what to say. Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing two more new cards in Clash Royale. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. The two cards I'm going to be showing off today is going to be the Goblin Machine and the Goblin Demolisher. The Goblin Machine is incredibly broken, as you guys will probably see in a second. I'm just going to straight up go for the Giant, the Bridge, and the Goblin Curse, and... I'm just going to kind of show you guys what this card does. This goblin machine is kind of just like a walking like GI Joe, I guess. It just shoots rockets at literally everything. It doesn't it does a decent amount of damage per punch. It has like a rocket launcher kind of thing. Has a lot of HP and it's just like random like look at that guys. It just says 500 damage for walking near the tower. I'm just going to go for another one at the bridge here. See what he can even do about it honestly. Oh, he has an Electro Giant, but oh, wait, the E-Giant's retargeting it. Hopefully, I can get the shot on the tower, though. Oh, nice. I got another one. Wait, that's 600 damage. What? Guys, this card is actually incredibly broken. I don't know if it's as good as the Goblin Curse, but the Goblin Demolisher, or the Goblin Machine, sorry, is actually incredibly broken. <laughs> I actually can't believe what they've been adding to the game yesterday with the Goblin Curse and today with the Goblin Machine. It's actually unreal. Wait, am I going to get cooked here? Hopefully that doesn't lock to my tower. Okay, it went to the heal spirit to block one shot. I think that's on the tower. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at that, guys. Just a quick little 600 damage right there. I don't know what they're doing. I feel like Clash Royale is just adding as many broken cards to their game as possible to get a bunch of money randomly. I'm not even going to lie because I can't think of any other reason. I don't know how these cards pass the playtest, to be honest, because they're just releasing a bunch of broken cards out of nowhere. <laughs> I just can't believe it, guys. Hold up, I might just go for an Evo Bomber at the bridge here. Line that up with the Barbarian. And guys, like I said, I really do think these may be the best cards in Clash Royale's history. At least the Goblin Curse, maybe even the Goblin Machine. I'm not sure about the Goblin Demolisher, but definitely these two new cards that I'm showing right now. They're definitely the best cards Sierra's ever released. Look, another 600 damage. I'm not even breaking through with anything else. I'm just hitting the tower with these goblin machines. And it's not even a champion, so you can cycle multiple of them. Wait, hold up. He just lost. That's going to kill the bomber. I'm going to giant. And if he cannons, it's going to hit the cannon with the rocket. It's hitting the right side tower with the rocket. I'm going to goblin curse here. It's on the cannon. It's going to blow up the cannon. <laughs> what? Dude, how do they add a card like this? <laughs> this is actually unreal, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going in here and it literally just took out all of his defenses I think I can just drop at the bridge and there's no way for him to stop it because he has to pretty much block the bridge If I just goblin curse here, I think that's nearly guaranteed to get on the tower Wait, I think that's gonna splash and the tower's down <laughs> just like that Maybe the easiest card to use of Clash Royale's history guys <laughs> Let's go All right guys, we're in the next match here But the next deck I'm gonna be trying out here is gonna be Royal Giant Goblin Machine I was thinking, and I really don't know how you're going to be able to defend Goblin Machine behind these big tanks like Golem, E-Giant, Royal Giant, and stuff like that because you need to kill the big tank, and usually when you defend a big tank, you play the cards far away so they don't die in the push, but because the Goblin Machine kind of it like snipes them down, you'll just kill them from far away, and you'll be like beating down the cards that they put like in front of it as well, like as you see his Guardian there and his Goblin Machine as well. It also just sniped the Little Prince from behind everything. So I think it will actually be a very good counter to the Psycho players who try and play like defense from afar with like Teslas, cannons, bomb towers, musketeers, and stuff like that. Okay. Decent RG hit, but I think I might be kind of cooked. I'll just Goblin Curse here to make everything take more damage. Dude, the Dagger Duchess nerf is like very, very clear. I'm not going to lie when I'm defending everything. Goblin Curse made me survive that defense, but it's honestly kind of obvious that the Dagger Duchess is significantly worse now. I still think it's better than the Princess Tower, but I think it got a pretty good nerf, and I'm excited to see if this will change anything at all. <laughs> After this match, guys, I will be trying out the other Goblin card, the Goblin Demolisher, so I'll make sure to show some decks with that right after this <laughs> i just wanted to try out the goblin machine more first i also think the goblin machine is better so i think it'd be more interesting to watch honestly and i feel like it's much more unique and pretty funny okay i'm just gonna go for the monk in the back here i think when i defend this rg ian actually lost he made a big mistake honestly <laughs> look at those two goblin machines they actually have so much health they actually have more health than it looks i feel like Okay, Fisherman's going to take that down. Then I think, wait, that's actually going to hit the Inferno Dragon, maybe? Nice, it did a lot of damage. I can void that. And then if I just RG the bridge, I think I won, honestly. 
Dude, <laughs> this new card is not real. Just gonna RG here. And I could just go for a nice Goblin Curse. I think that will actually take out the Ram Rider. Wait, it's gonna take out the LP too. Goblin Curse, Goblin Machine is a dirty combo. Ram Rider's already gone. <laughs> wow. Okay, I can just go for the Goblin Machine in the back. A Goblin Machine is like an everything card. It's a big ground tank. It's a ranged card. It's an air card. It's like an anti... Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It just does it all. That's going to kill the Little Prince, too. Look at that. There's nothing he can do about it. LP's literally nearly got one shot. <laughs> what? Dude, one-shotting Little Prince basically is absurd. I'm going to pop the ability here. Hopefully, that reflects on the Ram Rider. Dude, why does the Muck not reflect on the Ram Rider anymore? That's so strange. It's all right, though. I still defended. Just going to Goblin Curse and Void on the tower. GG's. Very nice win, and I will see you guys with the Goblin Demolisher. All right, guys. We're now going to be playing the Goblin Demolisher. In my opinion, the Goblin Demolisher is a very unique card. I think it's kind of funny, to be honest. I feel like it's more of a fun card than a broken card, I'm not going to lie. I will be playing it in this Goblin Drill Cycle deck. I'm not really sure 100% what it works in, but from what I can see, it's a ranged card that throws these little explosives, and once it's about to die, it just starts running towards the tower, kind of like a wall breaker, I guess. You guys will probably see in a minute. I'm going to go for another one right here. Wait, oops. <laughs> it just died right away. And it does have like this very nice explosion when it actually does die, when it starts going into his running form. So it's very much like an evolved wall breaker, I guess, because the regular wall breakers will only damage if it hits like a building or a tower when they die. But when the goblin demolisher does, it kind of like blows up no matter what. Hold up. I can goblin curse here. Nice. I get a nice goblin on the tower. Let's go. That's some really good damage. <laughs> Let's go. But I feel like the Goblin Demolisher is more of like a fun gimmick card, something that you would maybe use in like Touchdown than like something you would use in like the real game. I'm not 100% sure though. I might just uh, not be used to it. Hold up. I'll use it on defense and we'll just blow everything up. <laughs> nice. And then I can just go for a Tesla on defense here. But I'm not really sure. I feel like it's significantly weaker than all of the other cards, but it's a very fun card to use. It's definitely my favorite out of the three. At least in like uh, terms of like having fun, because at the end of the day, guys, games are meant to be played to have fun. I really, really like this card, and I'll probably use it quite a bit in my videos, honestly, but just need to see how it works in the meta, because maybe I just don't know how to use it properly or something as well, to be honest, because when I make these videos, I'm also learning the card myself. I do think that the Goblin Curse, though, will kind of break the game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. A lot of you were asking me in the comments, because... I read most of the comments on yesterday's video, well, for as much as I had time for, and um, a lot of you guys were saying that the Goblin Curse may break the game, and I honestly agree with you. I feel like it's going to need an emergency nerf before it comes out, and I'm pretty sure that I heard the Goblin Curse did get a small nerf, and it, it will be getting nerfed before it releases to the official game. Like, look at that Goblin Curse on defense. It literally just defended everything for free. Everything just kind of got destroyed on defense. It looks very hard to break through a Goblin Curse, to be honest, but... I think he'll be able to get me with the Goblin Machine, I'm not going to lie. The Goblin Machine is just too crazy. Hold up. I think I might be kind of cooked here, guys. Please pray for me, guys. Please pray for me. I don't think I'll defend this, honestly, because it's just going to blow up everything. Wait, I need the guards. Oh, no, it's going to blow it up. What am I doing? Evo Tesla? Bro, it's going to blow up my Tesla and my bomber. Bro. <laughs> what? And now it's going to hit my tower. Fireball, please bro like what was i supposed to do about that <laughs> if you put your cards in front of it it will just die to their push but if you put cards in the middle then it just gets blown up by a rocket bro how is that shooting a rocket well there goes my guards there goes my bomber there goes my e-spirit <laughs> and it's now it's on my tower bro this card and it's gonna wow <laughs> okay so that's what i was doing to him in the previous games emergency nerf this card bro all right guys we're in the next match here playing this goblin demolisher minor cycle deck i'm thinking that maybe it could be good in a minor cycle deck kind of like minor wall breakers except you don't have the wall breakers and you kind of use the goblin demolisher as your wall breakers i guess and you just have the deck as normal because i think it hits air i'm not actually sure yet i haven't faced an air card with it yet but i think it could actually be very good maybe if you have two tanks I also have the miter, Mighty Miner in here just for the three-card cycle. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he just spawned six goblins on my tower. Or five. That that spell is not normal. Bro. I wonder how good this card would be in Miner. Seems like a good Miner card, honestly. Use it on defense, and then, and then it just starts running, maybe. Because it's also range. You can use it as, like, a kiting card as well. You could use it in, like, the middle. 
stuff would go to it. And then once it finally gets the, like, health taken off, it just, like, runs away and kites stuff into the opposite lane, maybe. I'm not even sure. Wow, Mighty Miner destroyed that goblin machine. Okay. Wait, I wonder if it's just going to start running. I think it will, actually. Wait, I'm going to miner here. Maybe if I get the miner down on time. Okay, yeah, poison just about makes it start running. Oh, man. I actually... I, I, I didn't get the miner down on time. Wait, the bats? Okay, that's some pretty good chip damage right there. I'll take it. Let's go. Just going to go for the Tesla here, and then I can go for the Mighty Miner as well. Looking pretty decent. Oh, my Mighty Miner is going to get destroyed, though, actually. Look at how much damage it's taking. Hold up. I'm going to Goblin Demolish here. Wait, what? It's not hitting the Inferno Dragon? Okay, so it does not hit air. <laughs> Yikes. Wow, the explosion does do a lot of damage, though. More than I expected, to be honest. Okay, so good explosion damage. Doesn't hit air, but it's like a, a ranged ground unit, I guess, that only shoots ground. That's kind of strange. How do I even defend this? If I goblins, will that hit it? Okay, it didn't actually hit it with the thing. I'm going to Evo Tesla. Wait, it actually tried to. It nearly did. It, it just took a second to work, I guess. Beautiful Evo Tesla defense there, but the goblin machine kind of just like killed it instantly, actually. I've never seen an Evo Tesla die that quickly. I'm just going to poison here on the Inferno Dragon. I feel like I kind of need to to defend. But man, I actually thought this was going to hit air, so I kind of have this as my air unit. Yikes. Inferno Dragon's going to be a pain because of that. Maybe I can still win, though. Okay, so my Goblin Demolisher is going to be useless here. I'll Tesla. It's kind of just like a meat shield now. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to start running, then blow up. Wait, that actually did a ton of damage to the Mega Knight. Jeez. Every time I, it explodes, I feel like it's doing more damage than I expected. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Tesla, please rock it. Okay, it didn't shoot. Let me Mighty Miner here. I actually thought I was going to get cooked. I'm not going to lie. Ram Rider. What? Bro, that's the Dagger Duchess. And it got another hit. Bro, that's that's the Dagger Duchess nerf right there. I have to go all in on the left or I lost, honestly. I think this is my only chance. Oh, no. Bro, Evil Archer sh shooting with the Goblin Curse. <laughs> These are just going to get deleted. Yep, that's a good game, honestly. He played well. Wow, man. So, the Goblin Demolisher does not seem very good. Both times me and Ian used Goblin Demolisher, we both lost with them. But we always won with the Goblin Machine unless it was like Goblin Machine versus Goblin Machine. Seems like Goblin Machine needs a nerf and Goblin Demolisher needs a buff. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.